PLC or Programmable Logic Controller to help a machine use a system of exact calibration points and variable external conditions data with performance. In other words, you find the best way to combine all these sophisticated dials based on conditions affecting it and then you repeat it infinitely to achieve exact maximum success and output from a machine. In other words, you train a machine to think logically. The CNC, or Computerized Numeric Controller, is not quite as sophisticated as the PLC, but uses a similar process, but the idea is the calibration points are number-oriented and the function based on a mathematical process. And what makes this so innovative is MATC is going to hire the instructors. They're going to load this equipment into vans, and they will transport it to each different location. Uh, this is going to help industries um, throughout the United States. Um, the whole thing right now is that we're showing that it can be done on a very small scale, it's very portable, and it can be moved from one, if necessary, one factory to another. Um, and we have industries here in Reedsburg who can use this technology right now, but do not have trained personnel to, to use it. Um, and I recently did a we did a survey of the industries in our industrial park, and there were several of them who explained the process that they use in their manufacturing, and that if a measurement is even a human hair off, it can cause them to lose tens of thousands of dollars on an order because it's just not right. It can't be used. That's where this technology is going to come in and be helpful, and it's going to change the way manufacturing is done. Um, with this machinery where it would take three or four people before, now it may just take one who can uh, obviously multitask, but watch all these computers and dials and make sure everything's going to be done just right. High school in the city I was formerly in, it had a the uh, program for the high school students where they learned welding by programming it into computers and things. That's the type of technology that is going to be out there for factory workers or those uh, high school students or older people who don't want to go to college and don't have that inclination to be a book learner. They want to be hands-on type of people. They got a real awakening coming because it's going to be very uh, technology oriented, but that's the way uh, that factories will be in the very near future. And this technology, as it can be moved around, means it can go to where the students need the training. And instead of what we currently do is move students around to different locations, this will mean the instructor and the class comes to the students. And it can be held in any high school or anywhere else for that matter. So, <laughs> it's going to be good for the next generation of people who do not necessarily want to go to 
a four-year school or on for a master's degree. This will get them with an associate's degree or some technology training into a factory, and obviously these will be good-paying jobs. 